Hello, I'm Haley Albers along with Sarah Geegan and Madison Friend here to talk about the sphenoid and ethmoid bones of the skull. The sphenoid bone is a butterfly-shaped bone that spans the width of the skull. It forms part of the floor of the cranial cavity. In this diagram, the sphenoid bone is the green section of the skull. The sphenoid bone is split into two parts, the lesser lateral wings and the greater wing. In the lesser lateral wings, we have the optic foramen, and in the greater wing, we have the superior orbital fissure and the cella turcica. Okay, so in this diagram, the lesser lateral wings uh, are the small kind of raised area right here. It's the smaller of the wings, and then obviously the greater wing is down here, the larger portion of the sphenoid. All right, the optic foramen, it is the opening to the optic canal, and the optic canal allows optic nerves to pass to the eye. And in this diagram right here, that opening right there is the optic foramen. Also, the optic foramen cannot be shown here, but the optic canal is, and the optic foramen <coughs> is the beginning of the optic canal. And the greater wings are shown underneath, the lesser wing, and it is shown in this large portion. The supraorbital <coughs> fissure is a slit-like area a part of the greater wing on the sphenoid that allows the optic nerves that control the eye movement to pass through it. The supraorbital fissure can be shown right here. It's just right behind your eye. The cella turcica, a small depression on the midline area of, on the sphenoid that holds the pituitary glands in place. It is shown in the green. The ethmoid bone is an irregular shaped bone that lies anterior to the sphenoid. It forms the roof of the nasal cavity and part of the medial walls of the orbits. And it is shown right where the mouse is. The cribriform plate is a holy area that allows nerves carrying impulses from the smell receptors of the nose to reach the brain. And they're the little tiny dots that are on the cribriform plate. The medium perpendicular plate is a flat portion of the bone underneath the cribriform. And it is right underneath the, where the pink is right there. The crystagalli projects from the superior surface of the ethmoid bone, and it is the outermost covering of the brain attached to the crystagalli, and it is this, like, pointy-shaped bone right there. The end. And <laughs> so...